My name is Tyler Yahweh, and this is Ink Magazine. I'm enjoying this interview, by the way. I'm pretty happy. It just, he's just expressing himself, but it looks like the jigsaw is pretty fire. It's just dope. It's his own thing. It's art. And it's like his rem everyday reminder. So, like me, I got like a lot of heart tattoos all over me. That's like my favorite structure. I'm not broken hearted, but it's just, it's just dope. I love art. Yo, like, I love face tattoos, man. There's nothing wrong with none of these face tattoos. It's just his own character. That's not meant for me, you know, but it, it, it suits him pretty well. I got my broken heart and then just started getting more. I got my eyelids not too long ago in Sweden. It says good vibes. When I was in summer school, I used to, like, want to be Chris Angels. I had my mom, like, actually saved up. Like, I had a little landscaping company. I used to cut all the people's yards, like, in my, in my neighborhood and stuff, like fourth grade. I was just like knocking on people's doors and like, yo, let me cut your grass front and back, $10. $10 front, $10 back. And I saved up and got like a bunch of different magic kits and learned, <laughs> learned shit. I used to freak the kids out in school. What would be your uh, magician name if you were doing it now? Cuff Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> I was there when he, he got that, actually. He called me on FaceTime. Zan Frank, you know. Arnold is my friend, so. It's actually a crazy story. It's a pretty deep story why he got that on his. He's a deep human, so. And very intelligent, actually. Are you able to share that story? Or oh, that's his business, you know. Yeah. But he loves it. I love it. That shit's fire. Yo. Interesting story. Birdman told me why he got his head tattoos on his top of his skull. It was a pretty deep conversation. He was like, he wanted to feel what his sister went through when she was killed. So that was pretty deep. And it's just like, I respect Birdman because he, he showed me a lot and taught me a lot of advice. He's actually started the whole tattoo wave. I mean, wait a minute, they made me want face tats. Well, I'm not saying everybody will get face tats, but it's just like, it's a culture, it's an art, you know, so. We, so many people are tatted from their skull to their tip, their toes, you know. I don't just rush and go get tattoos. I just like, when I feel the, the moment is right, get a nice tattoo. These are my first tattoos. I don't think I want to finish them because they're like a memory, you know. He's like speaking. He's just saying, he's speaking in his tattoos. He got misunderstood on this shit, like. Yeah, he looks fucked up. <laughs> Whoa, this nigga snapped. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm super lost. It looked like it hurt. It looked like they didn't do a good job, to be honest. Yeah, those are, that's dope. Settle, fire, not too noticeable. And it's like its own thing, that's fire. Little pump, fire tattoos, bro. That's my homie. You got dope tats. Yo, the, the forehead one is like fire. That shit is so original. I've never seen that before. I didn't finish my stomach. I'm not gonna show you that. I'm actually getting Jim Morrison on my stomach. But that shit, I just gotta sit through it and have the time to do it. He's just like a big inspiration to me, man. Like rock and roll, like. Fuck, like, fuck the rules, go do what you want, and like, you can make anything happen if you just believe in yourself, you know? He, the way he, his story and my story kind of adds up the same, too. Like, we both moved from a small town to California and went homeless for it, you know? For the love of our art, so. I grew up listening to a lot of music, you know? Being around my, my, my family, they had gospel music, you know? But I, I chose to listen to, like, Emo and classic rock and metal, like Hawthorne Heights, My Chemical Romance, then I go to Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, Talking Heads, then go to Green Day, then listening to rap is like Lil Wayne, MF Doom, Pharrell, Kid Cudi, like that was stuff that I like. Whoa, look at that. I didn't even know he had that under him. Oh, Hulk. That shit is fire. And he got the Frankenstein. That was the hardest. 
Yeah, he got the fires tats. Jose got the like that eye one. It was just so original. That's pretty fire. This kid got always tired. Come on, this is my dog though. <laughs> Stay away, bro. His tattoos are original. I think the the wave is fire too. Uh, what is your favorite Post Malone memory? Uh, when I beat him four times in beer pong. You dig? I want people to like, to show people that they can do whatever they want and live life and listen to any type of music and still have a good time. Go out, have fun, crowd surf, mosh pit, enjoy the life, enjoy the moments, you know? Well, I was on tour with uh, my brother Young Pinch and I was just like, going through so many different emotions of like changes and happiness and understanding life and it's just speaking different emotions. That's what Heart Full of Rage stands for. It's just all your emotions are bottled up in your heart and you just let it all express itself of the imagination of whatever you want it to be. So I just wanted, it's like, it's very, just live life, rage out, enjoy it. Trippy Red, this shit's a super dope. It's like he came out of a trap. I think like tribal tattoos and like the Indian cultures and stuff, like that have face tats, that shit's fire. Even Africans got face tats too. Shout out to Wi Fi. I was, I remember actually when he got the Wi Fi tatted on his face in Florida, in Orlando. I was with him like a couple days after he got it. But they got it on the, the surf video. I was, we was part of a collective called Swamp Posse. Yeah, I thought that was me, low key. <laughs> damn, we do look alike. Now I get why people say that. I'm not trying to look like you with, but damn, we do look alike. Yo, rest in peace to the bro. He had the best tattoos too. It's like his really spoke. He was really speaking to you. Like, actually, I got good vibes on my eyelids. He had bad vibes and I just pay respect to him, but I'm always spreading good vibes and I love him to death. I was a friend, so rest in peace his soul. You know, I got my brother XXX on here forever with the, it's crazy because I already had this before and it just added up. And then my brother, rest in peace, Mute. Shout out to him. I'm gonna be on the road a lot. You know, you can check it through my, my website, tylerayahweh.com which holds everything, even my new debut project, Heart Full of Rage, make sure you go get it. Spotify, iTunes, everywhere. And catch me at a few festivals coming up this year. Live life, be happy, spread positivity.